First of all, I want to thank you all for coming here today. I um, am becoming more and more aware that this is on people's minds. And even though at this time, there are, we, at least I don't know, that there are any reported cases of the coronavirus here in Louisiana, out of an abundance of caution and also because of the concern that our people were expressing, we have made some temporary changes in our liturgy and some recommendations to our people in order that we might um, minimize the possible transmission of this virus. We know that it can exist in our midst before we are aware of it. Some people have very mild cases, and so we won't, may not even know it's here. So while we're gathering in large numbers, especially during the season of Lent, uh, we want to make sure that our people are safe. And so we made two big changes in, in the liturgy itself, and all the churches beginning this Sunday will no longer pass the common cup uh, is part of our liturgy to share a communion cup, and we will that will be removed from our liturgy. You still receive communion as a host, uh, the little wafer that you see uh, on uh, in a, at the Catholic Church. We will see the body of Christ under the form of bread, but uh, we will no longer share the cup. Second thing we will do is we'll uh, ask the people not to join hands at the Our Father, and at the sign of peace, not to shake hands with one another but with some sign or gesture uh, express their peace to one another. Uh, these, this one especially we do, some people will tell me, you know, this is not um, a, uh, I'm not afraid, I don't mind touching people's hands, but it's not just about us, me, it's also about the other person. Um, I was told that you were um, not so vulnerable if you're younger, and I thought, oh good, I'm safe. Then I thought, oh no, I'm 67 years old. I'm, I'm the older group. I'm the ones that are more susceptible. The person next to you may be someone who uh, is, is afraid. And so by not having the hands extended, it makes them feel safer. Everyone has a safer environment. We're also suggesting that people receive communion, suggesting that people receive communion uh, on the hand and not the tongue. That's purely a suggestion. Um, in some places, it's been thrown, blown out of proportion. If you wish to receive on the tongue, you may. The threat is still low, and it's really we're not really sure whether that's uh, more or less um, helpful, but it is something we're suggesting. Then common sense things we're also suggesting, and that is, number one, that if you are um, sick, do not come to church. It is not a sin to come to church if you're sick. In fact, for the sake of, not just for yourself, you may feel like, I can, I can make it, but other people, with you coughing in church, uh, may feel uncomfortable as well. Get well, then come back to church. We have mass, in fact, here in Baton Rouge. Um, at for the 10:30 mass is broadcast on channel, whoops, channel channel 15. I had to get that right. Channel 15 at 10:30 mass, and then it's repeated at 12:30, 4:30, and 6:30. So you have that opportunity. We of course then have are encouraging people to use all the common uh, safety and. Uh, uh, kind of protocols that we have in place for everybody. You know, wash the hands. Eucharistic ministers who give out communion, uh, they will, of course, are asked to wash their hands, use sanitizers. And then, of course, the faithful to cough into, your, into the crook of your, of your arm. Um, make sure you wash your hands and to avoid touching your face. All those things, of course, apply to everyone uh, that comes to church. It's our hope that these things will provide a safe environment. Like I said, uh, Someone who feels robust in their health may feel like, I'm not really afraid of this. But people whose health is compromised or because of age, they, I hope, will feel more comfortable coming to church, knowing that their space will be respected. They won't be kind of feel obligated to, to shake hands with someone because they have a much bigger investment in staying safe than maybe some of us. And so we want to provide that safe environment for everyone so they feel comfortable. And hopefully, people will use these see these as common sense recommendations and practices, and then we'll be able to focus in on the liturgy that they're coming to celebrate, to hear the word of God preached and to uh, involve themselves fully in that mass that draws us together as a community and also allows us to draw strength from God's word and sacraments.